Hi, I'm Brad Nelson. I'm president of X Digital. We've spent the last 30 years selling totally refurbished Xerox equipment. I wanted to make a video because I wanted to educate you, the customer, on the top five things you should look for when buying a used or refurbished copier. The first thing I would look for when buying a used copier would be, does the company you're buying from have a website? If the company doesn't have a website in 2021, then um, it's of my opinion that I wouldn't do business with that company. If you don't have a web presence, if you don't show your products, your company, who you are, um, I mean, it's probably not a reputable company to buy from. So that would be number one. Uh, the second thing I would look for um, would be, does that company have a, a service department? If they don't have technicians servicing these copiers in the field, how can you trust them to, how can you trust that company to sell a, a quality used or refurbished machine? If they don't have technicians that know how to service these machines in the field, how to work on them, um, I would be a little skeptical if the company you're buying from does not have a, a quality service department. The third thing I would ask when buying a used copier would be, what parts are replaced on the machine? There should be a detailed list of any, any and all parts that were replaced by whoever you're buying from. Um, these machines, we've been, I mean, we've probably refurbished over a thousand uh, Xerox printers and copiers. These machines have been sitting in warehouses. They've been um, transported all the way across the country, you know, getting banged around. Well, a lot of times when they arrive, they're completely filthy. Um, uh, there's cosmetic issues, maybe cracks in certain things. So it's really imperative to ask uh, whoever you're buying from, what parts did you replace of the machine? And if they can't tell you, you know, five to 10 parts that they replaced in that machine, chances are you're just getting an as is machine. Um, so I would be really skeptical, skeptical um, about buying from that company. The fourth thing I would look for when buying a used copier would be, what sort of warranty is this company that's selling you the machine providing? Are they providing a 30 day warranty? Are they providing a, a full service maintenance maintenance uh, contract on that machine? Are they just selling you the machine and they're never gonna talk to you again? I mean, a warranty is very important because um, anytime you ship a machine, install a machine, um, there's usually like a little break-in period uh, to when that machine really starts running good. So you want a really good warranty when you buy a used or refurbished copier. Again, if the uh, corporation who's selling you the machine can't really provide you a really quality warranty um, that's any significant of time, 30, 45, 90 days. Um, you should really want a warranty that, that covers any major parts within that time frame. Um, obviously, if it's under a full service maintenance agreement, then you're covered, right? Um, anything breaks, they're gonna send somebody out to fix it. Um, but if you're buying um, you know, from California and shipping it to New Jersey, um, sometimes a warranty could be tough. So I would just be careful um, and make sure there's a warranty provided on your copier. The last thing I would look for when buying a used copier would be, uh, I would ask the company, hey, can you provide me a list of five to 10 referrals for uh, clients or corporations that have bought machines from you recently? If they can't give you five or 10 referrals uh, really quick or send them to you by email for people to call that have bought machines from that company so they can tell you exactly how their experience has been, um, if it's good or bad, you want to know those things. It, it doesn't take very long to ask for some referrals. Um, any quality company is going to have definitely a, a number of references for you to call um, to ask those questions from somebody that's already bought before. So thanks for watching our video on the top five things to look for when buying a used or refurbished copier. If you feel like you learned something in our video, feel free to hit the like button, make a comment or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I really appreciate you watching our video.